Welcome back, folks, to Farming Simulator 2022. We're next to the Zeter. Let's kick a tire and let's get started. So we got a few things up that we need to do. So last episode, after last episode, I was actually having so much fun. I just kept going and I wind rode. I raked our uh, grass. And I think with the... Kind of what we got going on over here. We got them hay bales that are going to last definitely a while uh, yet. So we don't need to make hay. I'm thinking silage is going to be our best way to go. And why is this so important to us? Because this grows every two months. You can see I did actually fertilize it as well. Uh, you know, our, our haylage grows every two months. And if we do it right now, I'm pretty sure if we get this focused, so let's go look at our calendar, where is grass, we could get one more cutting in November, if, if we get this all done and taken care of. So, I think we haven't used creamsicle a little bit. Um, let's hook up this bad boy, and I think... What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a montage of, it, of me picking up grass and uh, putting it in our silo, our silage, uh, our silage silo. Wow, that's something I thought I never would say. Anyway, let's get started. So you can see we are really actually starting to stack up a whole lot of silage. We're going to have about 160,000 when this is all done from our previous crops. So we definitely have enough hay fields going on. But there's a few things we have to do. And I'm going to wait a second to show you the exciting new thing we're going to do today. Um... It is for me anyway, because I've never got to try what we're going to do later. But you can see this crop is harvested, and we're going to need a pH value. That's something we're going to do in a while, so it needs lime. 
And I think first, though, we're going to have to mulch this field to get it ready for the next crop. So, big thing is, is, um, oop, don't be doing, hitting, or can we lower? There we go. And, uh, honestly, this mulcher is working pretty good for us. Oh, wow. I just realized there's a lot of rock in this field, isn't there? Oh, that might put a little bit of a kibosh on what we were trying to do here. Huh. Yeah. All right. I guess what we're going to have to do is mulch this up and see how much rock is in this field. There might be quite a bit here. We might have to worry about that. Um, I was, honestly, I was really hoping this was good. Does it need to be plowed then, too? No, it's it's okay. It may I don't know. Maybe we'll plow it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna think about it while I mulch quick. That actually put a huge kind of wrinkle into what I thought I was doing today. So give me a so the rocks aren't great on here, but I thought about it, and I think this is gonna be our no new cornfield for a little bit. And with that being said, it's gonna get plowed the next time we harvest it. Uh, and when we plow, we're going to bring up more rocks and we should just rock pick it then. But we do still, uh, have to worry about the pH on it. And I was going to let that go until spring when we plant. But if we come over here, uh, let's uh, jump, super jump, get some speed, dude. All right. If we come over here, you can see the pH is bad. Okay. And we have to do something about it. So if we have two bad fields, it is what it is. And I think this might have to be plowed in uh, the spring, to be honest. To, uh, you know, it's, but I, man, I don't think we plowed it, haven't plowed it in three years, I don't think. So I think that's going to be probably what happens next. So we need the lime. In our limer, this limer, we've had since the very beginning. And it's been great to us, but there is a few issues with us. It doesn't hold very much, and it's pretty wide for the size of it. Like, it's not super easy to get down the road. So, let's repair. Uh, let's see our paint value. Will that go up 180 bucks? Yes. All right, so let's sell that. You know, we're going to go look at a new lime spreader. Uh, because it just it takes a long time to lime. I think the last time I didn't do it on with you guys on in camera because it just took a while. Which at first when we only had like two fields, it worked really well. But now we've kind of outgrown it. So this was eight miles an hour. Oh, and it doesn't even say the working width on it. Um, I'm thinking. We don't have enough power for that bad boy. And we don't have enough for that one. That's 110 horse. Um We we could we could probably run this, I would think. Right? Yeah, we're going to have to try this one out. All right, so main color is let's do gray. In rims yellow. Uh, in this way, let's make sure that can do lime as well. Okay, it can. So let's do the rims yellow. And we're going to get a new lime spreader here. I'm really curious, and we're actually going to have to get some lime as well. Where some bags of lime. Uh, that would be 8,000. Let's just get, you know what? Let's get 8,000. Alright, let me uh, see what this thing looks like. I'm a little worried this might be too big for our tractor, but I'm sure the new hotness could do anything we ask it to. Ooh, I like the top on it. That's really cool. It's like got a graded top. You know what? I think we could pull this off. I think, I think this will work. Um, I gotta grab Johnny Popper and a weight to put these bags in though so give me a second honestly i'm kind of thinking this lime if this works right 
if the, we get this same bad boy to work behind our tractor, we might have this lime spreader for a long time because I feel like it does. Did it say it did like 18 meters wide with lime? Where are you said? There we are. Yeah, this might be uh, something that really carries us a long way, but we'll have to see. I, I think holding 5,000 behind it might be a little bit much, actually. So we may only fill up. We might only put the two bags in. I put one in that I had at the farm that was left over out of the other lime machine. And that might be... All right, I don't know if we really want to fill it again. So what was the working speed on it? Let's check. It's nine. Let's see if the new hotness can pull this off. Open slider, lower gauge. We, oh my gosh. Okay, so this might be a little on the more difficult side here. Uh, let's try this field first. Actually, I feel like it's struggling less than I thought it would. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm a little surprised. Open, lower gauge wheel, turn on. All right, let's just do the end of this row here, and then turn off. And then we'll see if this thing is really... Um, all right, well, let's do some shenanigans here. And... You know, I mean, we'll have to refill it, but I'm actually thinking this was a really good purchase. Uh, I mean, it isn't burning through it insanely quick. Oh, sorry about uh, the neighbor's farm. I'm not sure who owns that piece of land, but you know what? And we'll give him some free lime. Oh my gosh, get over a little bit. I actually feel like the width is perfect. I just got it used to it. Um, but... No, we can run it right at max speed. And I feel like this was actually a super good purchase. <laughs> uh, I was a little nervous, I'll be honest, guys. Today, the, today it did not go plan as planned on here. We were actually going to get... Oh, come on, get over. We were actually going to get a new cultivator, believe it or not, <laughs> is what we were going to get uh, for that land. But... We definitely needed this instead, so uh, definitely a good buy for us. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something super interesting. Let me get straightened out. I am doing awful today in tractors for driving in straight lines. That whole thing runs off the wheel. See that? The whole mechanism. Ah, that's so interesting. See way back up, the gear goes the other way. Oh, uh, see, this is pretty fancy. I, I feel like we should have our pinkies up when we're using this thing, to be honest. Fancy. So that means you don't need a PTO. No, you don't. Okay. Um, but it does still have hydraulic lines. Oh, probably to, yeah, probably to engage it and disengage it. And probably for how much you're actually putting out, I'm guessing. It has some sort of control that way with that. Interesting. Liming is something I never, uh, I've never actually done before on the farm, believe it or not. And I've never really been around it a lot. When I, when I have been around it, people will actually use lime in out of a, a fertilizer spreader but not like this kind of like a manure spreader to get it out on the field I know that's weird but um, that's the way it was done on now on the little farm that doesn't mean it was super correct though so all right so this field is done and it feels like it definitely holds enough to be usable it work it, this is a perfect fit for us and I think we're gonna have this for a while guys so I am super happy with this purchase. It's a very good one. And that, that right there, our friends, is our screenshot. So um, I do have to... Oh, let's... I don't want to actually do that. Um, you know what? I'm going to fill this up, and we'll see how this thing does when it's full. 
when it's just completely full, guys. It is moving a little bit slower, but I think it won't have any problems with the field itself. Alright, let's check it out. No, it's good. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with this purchase, guys. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy, but we did need to upgrade the lime spreader. This was a good one. Um, so... All right, well, I'm going to line up this field, and we'll see you in the next episode, folks. You guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.